They say you need a regular schedule to make it on Twitch, but I think you have proven them wrong. Well, I have and I haven't. You see, my journey on Twitch is non-standard. I already had a YouTube channel before I had a Twitch channel. And because of that, I, I already had an audience. Uh, if I stream, my YouTube audience will, will make up a reasonable amount of, uh, of, of viewers. So, I wouldn't be quick to say that the advice that, that they give regarding that is false, because I managed to make it work. I mean, it, the other thing is, who's to say it wouldn't be a lot better for me if I... Oh, that's going to be so... Oh, there we are. It wouldn't be a lot better for me if I streamed, as they they suggest. It might well be. It's hard. It's very, very hard to say. It's one of those things. I tried to be real about it, though. I don't think I did anything particularly, you know, impressive to, to get my my uh, streaming up and running. But the, by the same token, I don't think I did much in, in terms of... Oh, my lord, okay. Uh, I don't think I really did much in terms of my YouTube either. I just, I'm a horribly lackadaisical person. When people have, have sent me questions asking, oh, you know, how how should I start a YouTube channel? Um, oh, oh yes, my bad. Might wanna might wanna back out of that. Yeah, just draw back. Keep drawing back. Uh, oops, a daisy. There we go. We've got our tanks getting in now. But um. I'm a horribly lackadaisical person about it. I, I, I just did what was fun, and that seemed to work for me. Whereas other people who approach it in a much more focused way have a hell of a time getting anywhere, and a lot of luck is involved, I guess. And that isn't to say I don't work hard. I'm a very firm believer that you know a lot of anyone's success on YouTube or, or Twitch is. You know, luck will, will open the doors for you, but if you're not working hard to take advantage of the opportunities that luck gives you, then uh, all the luck in the universe isn't going to really make much of a difference. You are really getting hurt. Where is... Where is... Uh, night? I don't know. That's right. You, you keep running. It's fine. No, oh, no. Run. Run. Don't... Where is night? I have no idea where night is. Oh, that is night. Where's... Where's... Have we lost a ranger somewhere? I feel we may have. This is a particularly brutal battle. Alright. What did we get from that? We've got coarse bandages. And spools of thread. Okay. Not quite. Not quite enough. Where... Where is... My next archer, though? That I'm worried about. What? Oh. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. That would have gone a lot easier if uh, you hadn't been distracted by wolves. But uh, you know what? That's fine. Your voice bring brought me to your channel. Oh, thank you so much. That's very nice of you to say. I have no idea how long it's going to take to get you healed up, but uh, we'll see. All right, let me get back to mining then, because I'm fairly certain they're going to be able to take care of all of that. All right. Okay. Oh, really? Ah! Okay. Nice. Archer level two. I approve. Oh, I really hurt. It really hurts. I'm infected. Infected. I'm gonna die. Wow, that that's brutal. Is that there for an hour? Super brutal. 
Okay. Uh, right, so next we want to make ourselves. Um, we want one, two, three, one, two. And to make this look a little bit better, we will expand this back by one. Nothing says it needs to line up with that. There we go. This will be the workshop area over here. So I'll probably sink in some storage back there. And then this is going to be the bedroom area at the back. Finally, our cook is going to have their own room. We need a herbal witch ASAP. Where is Roscoe when you need her? Out of curiosity, those who are actually... Uh, Viewers of my YouTube channel as well as my Twitch channel. Are you enjoying the um, Expeditions Viking playthrough? Easily one of the most unexpectedly good, uh, well-written RPGs I've played. I, wa I guess, well, that's a bit unfair, but the reality is I wasn't expecting it to to be good. I, I didn't have very high expectations, so when it did have pretty solid writing. I was like, oh, wow, okay. Pretty good. Um, Iron Circle is quite heavy, but protects one's head. One defense. Protection for your noggin. Uh, what are you currently equipped with? Let me have a look. Yeah, okay. Let's get one of these made. Let's get one of these made. Let's get this made. Please and thank you. Gonna need some thread though. And that'll take a bit of time. I love that. That's such a good place to put. I think we need to expand this a little bit further out. Make some sort of gatehouse. I don't know yet. I haven't watched it just yet. I must admit, I've been busy watching Kenji and Mechanicus. Oh, I hope you enjoyed both of those. Yeah, I'm sorry I, pr I do such an awful job of pronouncing the Norse names in there. I don't believe we got a new citizen. No, everyone's everyone's currently named. Oh wow, our food chest is almost completely stuffed. That's a good problem to have, but yikes. Uh, okay, we're gonna need another chest down then. Zangiri is now a level 3 blacksmith. Well done, Zang. You've got your bronze shield. Excellent. <gasps> Look! Kitty actually managed to befriend a, uh, a, a doodle bug. It's co it named it Comfort. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm not using Ace, though. I started out with this. Uh, like, this is the first proper play I've had of it, and because I'm not familiar with the game, I didn't want to mod it, because I wouldn't then know what the game was really like, if that makes sense. Right, well, I mean, there's no particular use to this tower, I guess, really, in a way. Um... Can our halflings just shoot down from towers and, and the likes? I would hope so, but I'm not sure. Regardless, I would like to continue building. Can I continue expanding this out? No. No, I can't. That is deeply sad. 
It is making me the sads. Um, sure, let's make a, let's expand this wall out by 20. Expand this wall out by 20 as well. And quickly across there. Same on this side. That one needs to stay one down, actually. Now, can I make a road? I might actually be able to do that. <gasps> I could have done it all along. That looks so much better. Like, so much better. But I think it's only by virtue of being super tricksy that that worked. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Un undo. Undo this as well. Well, I'll poop. Can I paint it? I might be able to paint it. Can I paint you? I want to grab this color. Punk. I want to grab this color. Bob. Oh, is that the same color? Hmm. Very hard to tell, honestly. Genuinely can't tell. On the plus side, if I can't tell, then that probably means anyone looking can't either, but... It's a little bit annoying. I can start seeing the uh, differences a little bit now over there. That will look a lot better. Okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, I do need to build up this wall section, though. Fairly certain I've got... Did I not put... Yeah, I did. Um, okay, so. So, like this, just going along. That'll do, I think. And build. There we go. Working. Right. You can't tell in the dark rain and texture issues. Yeah, I know, right? Was, that was really difficult. Hello, Kath. Right, we've got a farming cart. Uh, I think this is a good thing. You can get some. Could I get some chickens from the eggs? Probably not. I could buy a farmer's hoe. Oh. Um. Yeah. I'll buy a farmer's hoe. That is super useful. Basket of sugar beets. Basket of corn. Basket of berries. Sweet potatoes. Basket of turnips. Um. I don't strictly think that's necessary. So, no. Oh, that's good. Cock-a-doodle-doo, indeed. What? That's a bit of an odd effect there, but sure. Um, we haven't continued digging in there, which is a bit of an issue. I must confess... Not the best situation. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to wait for this to be fully built out before I start expanding out the uh, area in there, though. We'll see. We'll just wait for that to happen. 
Thankfully, you're starting to look a little bit healthier. How are we doing? We've got six bronze and got... Oh. I've already made it. Ah, damn it. Fine. Go ahead and make that then. Still need thread. Why is thread so elusive? There's got to be some thread down here I can grab. Or things I can use to make thread. Yeah, there we are. There we go. Not at all bad. I'm going to need to put some torches along this. Oh, there we go. Hooray! A new dappling joins us. Hello, Aries. Okay, so, Bodva Igurd. Let's have a look at you. Let's find out. No, Nightbot, you don't get to win. No, that is not... This this is how people... This is why people say it's rigged. Oh, my lord. The fat. Oh, my goodness. Nightbot, no. I'm flattered that you want to take part, but no. Okay, what have we got here? Magnificent beard. This halfling has a truly magnificent beard. Wow. That just sounds amazing. You're also wearing an upgraded worker's outfit. Excellent. Got pretty good stats. Hmm. And of course, a magnificent beard. Did it, did it change anything or did it not? Oh, no. If it hasn't changed anything, then I... Oh, that's going to be awful. Ah. Oh. That is actually awful. Well, I guess you live and learn. Wait. Okay, well, that's going to basically continue to melt my brain until I eventually get so tired of having a melted brain, I just tear the whole thing down to rebuild it. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. For now. Uh, right. Well, you really should be mining, I imagine. So why aren't you? Uh, I did mention earlier that sometimes I seem to get bugged with this. But I was told that I was probably mistaken. Given that. Now let's just dig this back a little bit and just see if they get in there and dig that. Are you heading down to, to work on that? They might be. If so, then we can... Expand this out a little bit more. Yep, perfect. Have you have you stopped again? Hmm. Yeah, sometimes they, they do seem to get a little bit derpy with the pathing. Like as in really derpy. Oh well. We can do this one at a time. I'll wait until that's done before we proceed. I mean, to be fair, you do an awful lot of work. Time for you to snooze. Oh, 
At this rate, you're going to be fully healed before we get a herbalist. <laughs> I need to get some iron. Have we got any iron? I can see a copper vein there. Any iron? I'm not seeing any iron around here. I do, see, however, see enemies. But no iron veins. We might be required then to purchase some from a trader, but when that trader is going to show up, I have no idea. I mean, there's a good chance that we'll be able to find some if we just excavate, but... Ugh. I hate mining for mining's sake like that. Still, if we need to, I guess we need to. Um... All right, we can we can set up some sort of uh, excavation and have a couple of of um, branches digging off of it. My dwarvish senses are not tingling now. Oh, we'll start over with the copper, I guess. Um, or in line with the copper. Oh, Camel Spider, thank you. Nightbot deserves to be a halfling. Justice for Nightbot. No, no, he's not going to get it. Thank you very much, though, for the uh, the tip there. Uh, Autorial, thank you very much. Eight months in a row. Eight months of Twitch Prime. Love the emotes and the streams. The dapperest. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. All right. Okay. We're going to try mining over here. And for my particular... A third style of mining will be something like this. Oops. Something along these lines, I think. This is going to be a long project, by the way, so uh, you'll need to get comfy for this one. I swear I can hear a ball. There we go. I'll just leave it at that for now. A young cook has arrived with a trunk of breakfast foods. Uh, no, but I can uh, help you out by giving you some foods to take. Um, you may have 10 of my bug meat kebabs. There you go. Where is this enemy? Damn it, more undead. Well, that's just awful time. This is going to be rough for you guys, I'm going to be honest. Um... Can you not equip the armor? Maybe you can't. Maybe that armor is not for you. Coverage against blunt and edge weapons. Design reminiscent of Phoenix Legions. I would have thought that... Oh, requires a level 2. Drop, drop, drum, blast! Alright. 
Well, at least we're still making this. Well, we will eventually. Weed Alchemist just gifted a sub to Nightbot. <laughs> Thanks, Weed Alchemist. <laughs> Nebula Space has cheered with five bits. Thank you, Nightbot bot is rigged. It does seem to be the prevailing suspicion, yes. Thankfully, they do move slow. A small mercy, to be sure, but a mercy all the same. Wild game. Don't get distracted now, archers. Uh, distracted, of course. Well, at least you managed to take him out pretty quickly. Okay, let's get into this then. Keep it up. Well done. Archer level 3 there. Let's uh, check out what that means. Range increase. The archer can attack enemies from further away. Excellent. And fast responder. More health. And you can go and put on the better armor now, actually. There we go. Seems that our civilians are mostly okay for the moment. Keep running. Oh dear, that was painful. You had to run straight through that hit. There we go. At the very least, it's now one on one. And you have better equipment. Oof. Okay, you can go and get better gear now. You totally can. Go and do it. I need to set this up to hold food. And wealth, may as well. I love the fact that we got a pet bug. This is awesome. Oh, take care, Dutrius. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, are fire noodles fire breathing ferrets? Uh, sure, they could be. The idea of a ferret that breathes fire is terrifying, though. Uh, right, okay. So. We want to expand that to five and continue to dig back. As soon as we can, we'll get just past this window and then stop the expansion there. This is going to be the bedroom area back here and then this will be the workshop area. I do like that lamp, though. That's quite pretty. But there's something... That Especially nice about the candles and the braziers. Something a little bit more intimate. Feels warmer somehow. I mean, it would be warmer, but it somehow feels warmer even though I can't feel it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Very swanky. Very swanky indeed, I must say. Expertly swanky, one might say. Uh, let's go and have a look. How much does that cost? Oh, it requires level 3. Really? Such a pain in the butt. That's for a cleric. Totally didn't read it before. Because I'm a dope. Yeah, the pet bug is hungry. I'm not sure what I can do about that, frankly. Um, maybe I can gather some of these. Unfortunately, we, we subsist mostly off meat rather than, than vegetables. I'm not sure I'm not making things that require vegetables. Okay, you know what? Canceling this order. We can, we can subsist entirely on meat. It's fine. Let's stop eating the veggies. Let's make sure that our pet has veggies. Will it eat berries? There we go, I think. Yep, good. 
Perfect. Let's lay down a bit more of a road. At least as far as this. We've got Trapper level 5. Better trap arming skills increase the trapper's chance for capturing prey by 25%. Is that the highest level that you can have now? No, you can get one more. Trap expertise. The trapper has a thing or two to teach the engineer about setting traps. Increases the town trap limit by 6. Can you actually make, like, traps for enemies then? Is that a thing we can do? Might be. We can uh, keep a, a herd as well later on. Ah, we're, we're ways off getting the next uh, halfling, I'm afraid. It's not going to be happening anytime soon. Still got a bit of work to do there. I know, I need my plump helmet pa farms. And my uh, pigtails. Damn it. The cook can make pet food? What? I saw that it made sheep feed. Pollo feed? I mean, I only see pollo feed. Are you sure about that? Pet food. Um, or feed is pet feed, is it? seeing it. Well, we'll leave it for now. I think. Have we got a rug made yet? No, we don't. Um, I can make them, though, can't I? Yep. Requires a place loom. I've got one. All of that seems to be okay. Let's move it to the top. Let's just get one done. You've got a helmet! Oh, this is glorious. Truly. There we go. I want this to be just a little bit further back. There we are. The cook's room is actually going to be quite significant, but I feel it's necessary in a way. Um, right, we've got one, two, one, two. And possibly one more as well. Uh, the mill. Another two. Two of them are of a reasonably small size. But I'd still like to dig them in. So. Actually, let's make it a little bit more cozy. One, two. One, two. Two, uh, it's a bit of a rough shape in here, thinking about it. Mm. Well, sounds a bit awkward. 
We've got the cauldron on one side and the other two items on this side. Yeah, actually, that would work. Hmm. What I could do, in fact, is if I... Drive it back a little bit more. Then I can have storage inside as well. So yeah, let's let's try that. There we go. And yeah, that should work, I think. Go ahead and place in the window. Like that. Um, I think we'll have a table right in front of the window. bed right opposite the uh, the archway. Oh wow, thank you very much, Promise Mac. Popping in only briefly, because my internet is garbage. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Thank you so much for dropping by, though. I really, really appreciate it. Right, we've got a lovely rug. Um, let's pop it in front of the bed. In fact, we can put it over the threshold of the archway. Oh, that's glorious, actually. I approve. Yes, indeed I do. Significant amounts of approval. Let's pop that in there. I would like the really nice candle right here. Oh, this is starting to come together now. I don't need any of these. Alright, I would like this replaced down here. Mm, stone oven is a bit big though. Put the stone oven over here then instead. It can have its own wall. And then we'll head back up and grab the cook pot, the cauldron rather. That there, perfect. I'm gonna need a couple of storage compartments here. Maybe even three. Yeah, let's make three. But I'm probably going to go ahead with the, uh, just the regular storages down here. The chest, rather. Excellent. This is going to look really nice, I think, once it's done. Oh, time for me to leave. I may be back once I get to work, since it's overnight and I'm all alone. I can have the stream on. I just have to hope my data can hold up to streaming. It's unlimited, but probably a low bitrate. Oh, I'm probably not going to be streaming for much longer, because it's almost 4am for me. Um, but if you don't get back before I, I wrap things up, thank you so much for joining me. I really, really hope you've enjoyed the stream. And uh, whatever you miss will be available on Twitch Vods, so. We need more of these rugs up because they're glorious. As soon as all of this gets placed. More chairs being brought down. There we go. Here comes the bed. There we are. A sign. This goes to... There you are. And another one over here, please. There we go. Um... Sure, I can just have food being stored down here. I don't think there's... 
much issue with that. What on earth was that, sir? In fact, I could just have three of these together. I think that might be a little bit better. Yeah, let's do that. Right, so, down here, I want... Um, raw foods. Cooking ingredients. Uh, jerky on that one. Uh, that's fine. And I would like bug meat on this one. I don't specifically store raw foods, but we'll we'll try. Um, I guess then, given that, I might actually have this one in there, and then two chests. There's a lot that the the cook needs to do, so. It's an awful lot that needs to be stored. Oh, wow. Plushy toy rabbit. Toy for children, of course. This place is coming together, though. Wow. I am well impressed. I have a little candle there. Maybe have one near the bed as well. That's a bit of extra light. I'm really tempted to get rid of this lantern and just replace it with a uh, brazier in the corner. I just feel that I, I'm ruining the aesthetic by having a... a lamp like that. Though at the same time, I guess it adds a little bit of character. It doesn't... not everyone needs to have the same sort of thing. Let me know what you think in chat about that idea. <laughs> 